Hello, Wend good morning, Wendy here from Wendy's Craft Den. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator to the Vinnie Narbus Pembrokeshire Wales. Now, I got this stamp, it's one of the new ones in the, uh, in the mini catalogue. I love marigolds, I think they just, I have to have marigolds in the summer, that's why, but I love them. But looking at this set, it actually looks like you could make carnations out of it, if you see what I mean. But today I'm just going to do a little piece of DSP uh, because I bought the stamp and the die. I don't think there was, I don't think it was a sweet. So uh, bear with me a minute. Right, I'm using two colours. Look, one is lighter than the other. So I'm going to use so saffron for the. Uh, what I call the bulk of it, and then I'm going to do, use the crushed curry for the patterny bit. Now, before using this, I did rub my hand on it to get any bits off, and also to avoid any of the ink staining, I um, I went over it with a I put a verse mark on it. Uh, yellow doesn't usually, but uh, and. Having them do it doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't affect the stamp, it's just how it looks. Right, so very carefully now putting it in there. And I'm going to start stamping at the bottom. I hope you all had a good weekend. And you've got some fun th done some fun things. Um... I really didn't do anything at all. Uh, I'm just trying to think you now. No, I played with the cat a bit and, you know. Uh, and that's about me. Done, really, for the weekend. Quite quiet. Now, another thing is, you notice, don't start on the outside and then hope you can make inside, you know, stamp the inside so you, you can't do it because you're running out of spaces. No way. Ah, that's better. So that's why I started on the outside. As you see, um, it's more natural if you stamp off the edge as well because that doesn't look like... If, if you wanted to hold ones in the middle, it would look odd. So just stamp off the end And don't worry about blip stamping either. No, I'm not going to put another one in there. Right, clean this off. Now, what I've got, I used to use baby wipes. I actually bought some the other day. But I also bought some of the microfiber, microfiber cloths. And they, I have found they are absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to shut this up because all of you that know me know that I get into a mess. Very quickly. <laughs> right. Just clean this off as you know, just because I have actually stamped with this once, so it's not uh, it's not too bad, right? As you see here, you got the little the little V there. Well, what I'm trying to make sure that your stamp is clean, uh, your block is clean. I got caught out by that um, earlier on, right? I'm going now so that that V. Try and do it without pushing my head in the way. Not bad, not bad. Like I said, I'm not worried about the little bits coming off the side or that sort of thing, because they can be disguised with uh, a bit of dotage. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? That was over that way, wasn't it? I'll leave that one to last, I think. You see what I mean by the block? Always make sure you give it a wipe. Because sometimes you go a bit heavy on it and like that, you see. And if you're doing that, then what happens is, is that you... Sorry, go quiet. Uh, is it'll come out, off on your, um, on your piece. It'll come off and... You don't really wonder that, do you? When you do the piece, uh, let me show you. Ah. Here. That is definitely a stamp mark. Um, not a stamp, a block mark. 
So make sure your block is clean. And what I've decided to do January, every month, I'm going to try and do um, at least a week of just one paper. Um, this this month is going to be a crumb cake, which is a bit like craft card. And then I'm going to, do, I can't remember what it's called now. You use one, 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 ah, uh, one. Think of the word one plum cake and then one other colour as well. So then we've uh, nearly finished, but I'm saying I'm going to do that. But you, you know, I mean things crop up and it never works out right, does it? Never mind. I'll bring you what I... Now, what I should say, isn't it? I'll bring you what I can when I can do it. Not, I'm going to do this and then I fail on all counts and you get really disappointed with me. So, uh, I've got another couple of plans as well. Um, I don't want to let it... Uh, I don't want to let on at the moment because um, I don't know whether they'll come about. So... I'm going to uh, just shh about that. There we are. Okay. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to finish this off now with a sentiment and put it on this cardstock and I'll show you the picture later. Thank you for watching me. Bye.